What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Liam and I do live cops and body tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to set up Dashi for a Yeezy supply release. Now overall Dashi is fairly easy and straightforward to set up, but there are a few things that you need to know. So let's get into it. So first up, when you load up Dashi, I would go into settings here and then first click enable console and auto click captcha. Enable console allows you to monitor and basically debug your tasks when things aren't going right because you can see all the things that each task is doing. In terms of delays, I set them at 3000 for both. I think they're default um, for easy supply, but I just set them at this anyway. I would also put in a webhook so it's a little easier to track your checkouts. For the capture source, I usually just use the inbox capture harvesters, which I'll go over in a second. But you can also use AYCD and just plug in your information here. It's fairly straightforward. One thing I want to say is make sure to click save here so that everything saves and you don't lose everything that you put in here. Next up, we're going to go to profiles, which is right here. And this is, of course, very self-explanatory. You just fill this stuff in, put the name that you want your profile to be called here, and then click save, and it will show up down here. You can also import and export profiles as well. Next, I'm going to go to proxies. Here, again, very straightforward. Just put the name that you want to call your proxy list and then paste your proxies in here and then click save. And then it will add it to the list here. You can also test your proxies here, um, but you can only test all at once. So I would recommend using something like AYCD or some other proxy tester to be able to filter out your proxies because this won't be able to filter them. You'll just be able to see if they're working or not. After that, we're gonna to go to create tasks. Now, I'm gonna select Easy Supply. And for here, you just put the SKU of the shoe. I'm just gonna make one up. So it'd be something along this format. And then you're gonna select the size that you want. Um, it can really be whatever. You can select multiple sizes as well. But I'm gonna show you an easier way to set up and you can select your profile that you want to use. And then the quantity of items is set to default as one, which you're just going to want to leave it as one. And then this is the amount of tasks that you want. I'm just going to do one as a test here. And then select your proxy list that you want and click add task. Then if you go over to task management, there's your task. But obviously you're probably not going to be running just one task. So an easy way to create a bunch of tasks at once is to go here. You're gonna to wanna to select the proxy list that you wanna use and then click this FSR slash FPR button down here. And then you're gonna select the size that you want and select all the profiles that you want. These are all selected here. I'm just gonna clear this. And you can select all the profiles that you wanna use right here. And then when you click add tasks, it will make a task for each one of those profiles like that. You can also say to add two tasks per profile per size here. So you can do that as well. If you have a lot of profiles, it's going to be really annoying to select all those profiles. So I would recommend clicking the first task or the first profile that you want to use. Go down to the last one, hold shift. And as you're holding shift, click, and then it will select every profile in between. So then when you click add task and go to task management, all your tasks are right there. Down here is your console that I was mentioning earlier. Your task status will be down here as well. Now I'm gonna start going over the capture harvesters, the inbot ones. So you're gonna go down here to capture harvesters and click open window. And that will bring up a CAPTCHA solver. And this, as you can see, this is filled in with one of my CAPTCHA proxies. When you open yours up, it will be blank. And then you're just going to fill in the CAPTCHA proxy if you're using one and then click save and then go to YouTube and log in to the Gmail that you want to use, uh, which is, it's really that simple. If you want to add another one, you just go to new and you'll fill in your proxy which you're going to want to use if you're using more than one on more than one in general because you don't want more than one capture har harvester on your local IP. So you're going to put in your proxy here, go to YouTube and then log in and make sure you save everything. 
Now these do save, the settings in here save. If I click new, it's gonna open up another one that I had, had before. Um, so you don't have to worry about losing your data in here. It's really straightforward and pretty easy. Usually on other videos, I've been getting questions about Gmails and that kind of thing for Yeezy Supply and how to pass Splash. And really the key to passing Splash is having good Gmails and a lot of them essentially. I farm my Gmails with AYCD, which looks something like this. Um, my emails are back over here, but I'm currently harvesting them basically all the time and it keeps them at a high score. Um, you're going to want a 0.9 score to really have the best chance of passing Q. However, you can still get by with 0.7, but 0.9 is obviously the best. Dashi recommends having one capture solver per 50 to 100 tasks, but I tend to use one per 100 tasks. And they also recommend not going too far over a thousand tasks. So um, probably around 10 solvers you'll need if you're going to max out Dashi with a thousand tasks. Again, I want to mention that you don't want to have more than one CAPTCHA solver on your local IP, but if you have proxies, then you're good on your other ones. The last thing I want to go over is task status, um, things that you want to watch out for and things that you want to make sure you're seeing so that you know that you're doing everything right. So you want your status here to say, after you've started your task, you want your status to say waiting in splash. Now it will probably say going to home page and then go to waiting in splash. Um, if it's stuck on getting home page, then uh, going to home page, then that probably means that your proxy is either banned or just really, really slow. Um, I would recommend giving it a few minutes to make sure it can get into splash because sometimes I've had proxies that are just a little bit slower than the rest and then they'll still get through and still perform well. Uh, they just take a little longer than normal, which is okay. But if they're if it's been five minutes and they're still going to homepage, then uh, you're gonna want to stop your tasks that have that status still there and then restart them and it will grab a new proxy from the list and then it will try again. You might have to do this a few times um, if you have a decent amount of bad proxies in your list, but if you filter them right, then you should be good after the second, maybe third time. If you have a lot of tasks that are stuck on going to homepage, then you're gonna want to, I would recommend anyway, stopping them all individually and then clicking start all so that they all start at once. And then it's a lot easier that way instead of just clicking twice on each task. So really my drop time procedure is just to open up my capture solvers, make sure I've been harvesting for a while beforehand. I don't usually test my prox or my Gmails very close to a release because I don't want their score to go down. But then I just start, I basically just start all my tasks um, as soon as the sale goes live. And then I look for tasks that are having trouble getting to the splash page and then restart them until they're all in the splash and then just kind of hang out and wait for checkouts to start coming in. It's really not too bad at all. I haven't had any problems with starting all my tasks at once. If you don't know how well a thousand tasks performs on your system, you might want to start a few individually and then start all, um, but it's up to you what you want to do. So I think that just about wraps it up for this video. It was pretty short, but there's not a lot to cover with Dashi. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment if there's something that I missed. If this helped you, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. I do botting tutorials and live cops all the time. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.